And today we are talking, which way do I go? I go this way. Today we are talking, yeah, I know, 25% remaining, about the Director Mini. We're gonna put 10 cameras into this tiny little device. I have a little holder here from do, 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 Tech4. Uh, provided this for today's show, so thank you to Tech4. Uh, just doing my proper disclosure. And uh, I will admit I'm using it not the way it's designed because <laughs> that's what I do. Uh, it is designed with these two um, shoes on top. And I like to have the bottom part, or the empty part at the bottom, because it's not going into the table. And thankfully, it rotates automatically. So I have all my ports coming out the top, which means that I connected it backwards because it's got this plate that goes in the space um, over the batteries. This is $39, this little stand. So it's, yes, it's 3D printed, but it's custom fit, it's worth it. It's available in uh, matte black, marble plex blue white gray green um unfortunately they don't have um stream tech purple and i'm 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 kind of dismayed about that so they sent me black i have to talk to them about that um <laughs> uh, if you're not familiar with the director mini let me give you just a quick uh walkthrough of the director mini it is this tiny little five inch handheld device uh, it has two HDMIs. Um, I also recommend watching the intro to Director Mini video on this channel. Two HDMIs, two USBs on either end, uh, Ethernet, SD card, audio input, headphone out, and that's pretty much all we're going to be using today. Tech 4 for this. It actually comes with a cover because this screen is... There's a lot of ways you can control this, but the screen is really nice. And it's a very nice responsive screen. And if you're tossing it in your bag or whatever, you can put a pouch on it, or you could just slide this cool case. You know, it's got the little bumpers, the little bumper things on there, and it's cut out. You know, these are 3D printed, two spec, and there you don't have to worry about something cracking your screen or puncturing or, you know, just making that a sad, sad day. So again, thank you to Tech4 for, for sending that for today's show because that makes it a lot more convenient for me to do today's show. How do you get 10 cameras into a device that only has two HDMI inputs? Anyone? Anyone? It's actually a, a lot of different ways. That's how you do it. So again, we've got the, go to overhead, you got the two HDMIs. So let's populate that. I got my camera. We're going to plug that into HDMI one. And I've got another camera right here. Uh, I've got this. I'm going to plug this into HDMI two. Yeah. Two cameras. We're a long way from 10. <laughs> and if I come up here, uh, they don't show up. And that is how the director mini works they're available they're kind of they're in the system but only what shows up here is what you've created i've created a multi-view which you can see right here they're there there's my two cameras and they repopulate automatically so your multi-views are always there so that you can re reuse but to you know these are not camera inputs these are not physical inputs these are scenes so only something that you create comes here. So if I just wanted a straight shot of my camera right there, I would say go in here, HDMI one, there's me on my green scene, save. And now that is camera one. And then I come in here, I say plus HDMI two, there's camera two, it's my overhead camera. And I say save, and now there's camera two. Now these are available as individual shots, as well as my still image. HDMI one, HDMI two. Now that I'm on a camera, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna delete this. One, two cameras, two cameras. There's two HDMIs. So the question is, how do we get more cameras? Well, those USB inputs can be used to plug in a USB stick to import media or to use media directly from the USB stick. They can also be used for cameras. So I have a camera, I'm gonna plug it in. Let's go to my overhead. 
I'm gonna plug a camera with a USB converter, HDMI to USB. I'm gonna plug that in over here. And then we're gonna go back to the Direct Mini. I'm gonna add, let's just see, I'm thinking that's webcam too. Now it says webcam, you could plug in a webcam, USB converter, whichever. There it is. This is a HDMI camera I have right over there looking down at the Director Mini sitting on my table. There it is. And you can see I just added it via this device over here. There's also a USB on, let's go to my overhead. There's also a USB on this side, but it's in between these two HDMIs and the Director Mini is aptly named because it is mini. It is the smallest device. YOLO box, YOLO, yeah, the YOLO box mini is bigger than this one. So I have another converter. This is a cam link and I have a little USB three extension cable. It's got all the extra pins on one side. It's got all the extra pins on the other side. So you can see I'm doing my best to stay in the USB three realm, passing the extra power, passing whatever extra data, whatever. And I'm going to plug that in on this side and it, it's going to, of course, I, of course, USB is always wrong the first time you stick it in. Not coming up. Let's go to webcam. Okay, there we go. Save. So now I have not looking at the multi view because that's created in the Magewell Director Mini. I have HDMI 1, HDMI 2, UVC camera. One, UVC camera two, playing a soccer game. All right, so I have four physical inputs and I promised you 10. So how do we get from four to 10? Remember, 10. So how do we get from four to 10? Anybody, anybody? Uh, no, no, no. Uh, and we have one potential answer, NDI sources, but how many? That's what we're gonna find out. And one of them went to sleep, so I'm gonna wake it back up. Let us do NDI sources. Let me go to the DM screen itself. Uh, go to me. Hi, me. And you scroll over here. We're going to hit that plus. And you can see you can add HDMI 1, HDMI 2, webcam 1, webcam 2. That's four inputs. We already have those. Those are wired. You have an RTMP stream input, an SRT stream input, picture, video clip, phone camera, We'll get to those and NDI stream. Let's hit that. We're going to search the network. It says it sees a Mevo, a Mevo and a Tail Air. And we're going to connect all three of these. So let's open the Mevo first. There it is. This is, which one is this? Oh, and the tally light on the Mevo went red. So that is working properly. Save. Now I have right here, there's my Mevo and then I cut away and there we go back to the soccer game. Back, back to the Mevo. And one thing you're gonna notice is NDI is not the same time. Um, I'm also gonna preface this by saying the Mevos are wireless and I don't have like gaming level Wi-Fi in the office here. I just have a small basic Wi-Fi router. So I'm pushing 15 megabits from each of those over NDI, which I think has additional packet header issues too. So I have found that my consumer grade Wi-Fi kind of struggles sometimes when I try to push NDI, especially full NDI through it. So take that with a grain of salt. Okay, so there we go. We've got one camera up and running. We are going to hit the plus. We are going to say NDI stream, NDI search, looking around. Let's go get the other Mevo. There it is. Save. So now I've got this wide shot. Hello. And then we're going to go to close up. Hello. That one is really slow. And you can see the thumbnails down here are like, it pops up real time when I cut to it but they are lower frame rate when it's not live. So let's keep pushing this all the way. Do, do, do. NDI stream, NDI search, and we are going to add the tail air, which is 
way over there behind all behind the Mevos. You can see here's a Mevo right here and it's literally running on battery, nothing there. Save and let's go to the tail air. The tail air is on a wire. It's actually running power over ethernet and it's on a wire. So this should be a lot more reliable, but still the timing delay with the tail air over NDI, and it's not a tail air thing, it's the fact that you have video that is not just coming directly over a wire as it comes off the sensor. It has to be, the whole frame has to come in, the whole frame has to be compressed, or a group of frames has to be compressed, send across the network, then decompressed, converted back into video, and then mixed in with everything else. So it takes a little bit of to-doing to get that. But the cool thing with the tail air is, you can see, right, let's see if I can do it with my finger, Right here, there's an icon for PTZ. So let us click on that. And I saved a preset in here. So this is two. And if I click on one, it says goes to preset one. Hello, everyone. And now you can see this Mevo and this Mevo. And this is a phone holder, which we'll get to. <laughs> so um, this is my overhead camera, which, you know, when you see the overhead views, that's where that comes from. So you're kind of getting a behind the scenes view. And there's my main camera right behind a prompter which I'm not using right now. So there's camera one, and then I can go to preset two. It'll go back to preset two, go, go to preset one. And that's happening within the tail air over NDI because NDI gives you this interface where you can save your presets. If I wanted to pan and, you know, I could, I could manually zoom out a little bit more and store that as three, there we go. So I can go to two, and then go back to three, and then go to one. So you can see, I just created a preset and that is a really nice feature in the Director Mini is that it's going to give you that capability to control your PTZ camera over NDI. So how many inputs do I have? HDMI one, HDMI two, UVC camera one, which is over here, here you go, there it is, UVC camera one. Uh, there's UVC2, there it is, UVC, and these are all still running at full speed. And then I've got NDI1, NDI2, this one just seems to be problematic, and this one. So actually I'm going to chalk it up to that Mevo is not happy, um, because the other two are fine. <laughs> but now we're going to get into more of the networking capability. And this really goes to one of the key features that the Director Mini offers that you really don't see much anywhere else is that there's an app. There's an app for that. Remember that commercial series? There's an app for that. Next up, we have phone inputs. And as you can see, I've got the uh, NDI PTZ control from BirdDog and there's that big D there. We're gonna click on the big D. now. You can use this as a remote assistant or a phone camera. I'm not going to get into the remote assistant. But I'm going to get into the phone camera. You're going to click on that and it's not going to do anything because you need to create it on the Director Mini first. Let's go into that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come into here. I'm going to say phone camera. I'm going to call this camera one. Let's call this, uh, make it easier, small. Small iPhone. You can check your image quality, high, middle, low. Let's just go middle right now. Microphone on or off. There's advanced settings, you know, the, the, whether you want 1080, 720, blah, 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 blah. Create. And then I'm going to say save. And there's still nothing there. That's deliberate. Phone camera. Create a camera. Big iPhone, close that. We we'll say middle, create, save. And then we're gonna create a third one. We're gonna say phone camera. There's one, there's two, create. Android. I only have one, so we're gonna go with that. Create, save. Now, I got three empty things here. They don't connect automatically. That's one of the key things. So. Phone camera. It's looking around on the network in the office. 
There we go. Now, with this device, I can choose all the available slots that I created on the Director Mini. So this is my small iPhone. I'm gonna click on small iPhone. It's gonna connect, and there's my camera. Boom, 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 boom. Now this one is a little chonky because I have the HDMI out so you could see the process. I wanted to show you that process. So I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna clip this up here. Ah, oh, I hope I don't click the close button and go side by side. And there you go. There's the output of the small iPhone, but in the Director Mini, you can see now I've got a clean output from the iPhone and it still takes time to capture, compress, send it over the network, open it up. You could also use NDI on the phone, but because there's already an app dedicated for phones, why not just use that? It makes it easy to connect it where you want to. And the ability to create these inputs on the Director Mini and give them names lets you create multiple pictures, four up, you know, whatever arrangement you want. And those slots that you created for small iPhone, big iPhone, or the other way, big iPhone and Android will always be in the same spots. So it lets you pre-build things. All right, we got a good audience today. Next up, I'm going to use my big iPhone. It says, small iPhone is in use. Very handy. Yeah, I know. Oh, I have compromised password. I go away. Ah, big iPhone. Uh, connect. There we go. I got my big iPhone right there. And then you can see it pops up right down here. Whoa. Okay, that is definitely more telephoto. <laughs> Um, so telephoto is definitely telephoto. Dual camera is your normal and ultra wide is your ultra wide. So you can choose between your three different cameras that you have available on a device that has multiple cameras. Here you go. I've got that iPhone right there. I have this iPhone down here and you know, we are still these are wireless in addition to the NDI cameras, which are wireless. And we're going to add one more. Boop, 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 boop. We're going to add my Android phone. So uh, let's go to my overhead here. And I can show you that now that I have it installed on my uh, Android phone, it says small phone, big phone are both in use. And here's my Android phone. I can connect. So I'm going to connect with my Android phone. And there it is. And there we go. And that is my Android phone. Hello there. And I actually do have another holder. So we're going to point this one at the ceiling. So I have Android, iPhone, big iPhone, little iPhone, tail air, way back there, still looking good. Um, Mevo 2, still not looking good <laughs> for whatever reason. Um, Mevo 1, still looking good. Uh, my video playback my close-up camera on the side, my overhead camera, and my main camera. So that is 10 inputs on a Director Mini, and it's working. Uh, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go really crazy now. I'm gonna go a little extra crazy and see what kind of scene we can create with all of this, because again, it's just an Android tablet. This, this, this is just a tiny little Android tablet, and it's warm, I can feel the heat, but I wanna see, like, can we do four up? Can we do five up? What can we do with, with our multi-views here? Because you customize your multi-views how you want to on the Director Mini. And when I move my hands up and down, you can see the timing is different. So if you run your audio directly into the Director Mini, you're gonna to have to delay it a little bit to match the video, which is being done somewhere else, then converted to UVC, then unconverted back to video. It's a little bit of a process. Add up to three sources with a video signal in a scene. Okay, there's our limit. So three video sources at a time. So let us now save this and then I'm gonna do something very funky. Okay, we're gonna make that smaller. So now I've got two different, save, 
two different three element solutions. We want to fade and we're gonna make this a long second for a reason. So now here I have three scenes and then they're all moving. These are all moving, okay? And then I'm going to dissolve to the other three and dissolve back and dissolve. So at one point, there are six things, six moving video clips on the, the frame at one time. Six for that one second, there are six things up there. Now I don't have titles and, uh, and all that going on and you know, we could say um, record and I'm not gonna say stream because I don't know where it's gonna go because that's not set up for the show. But the goal was to see, can we have 10 inputs? The answer is yes. Can I dissolve with multiple inputs in the scene at the same time? Yes. Do I wish I could have four up? Yes. Do I wish I could have five up? Yes. Because technically this is showing that I can have, for at least that second, I can have six moving video sources on the screen, on my program out at one time. And when I wave my hand in the air, it's pretty stable all the way across between all six of those inputs. Uh, stream tech, stream technology, but it's very recognizable with the yellow and purple. And there you can find all of the tips and the conversation shows and everything else. And all the videos and live shows are all here. So if you miss a live, you can go right to the live tab and there are all the live shows. If anyone needs to reach me, uh, you could, I have a website stream 4us So I do um, streaming, consulting, design, and everything else. And I also write for Streaming Media Magazine, which if you watched the uh, video, uh, you can sign up for uh, free newsletters for techies. Uh, feel free to go check out my intro to Director Mini video, which I will link to at the end of this video. And you can get the lowdown on all the specifics about the Director Mini. And uh, I have a video on the Obspot as well, if you want to check that out. So with that, I am going to say thank you all for being here. And I look forward to seeing you on the next show. Thanks for watching.